Hello friends, first of all, I have a bad cold and I am unable to speak properly. Still, I am making a video for you guys. Please accept it. Danny and Rupa are good friends. Both of them want to learn English fluently. They want to speak English like a professional person. So, they wanted a guide. They wanted some teacher. Danny joined a coaching class. Whereas Rupa, she tried something different. So my dear friends, if you are also facing the same issue, how to improve fluency, please watch this video. In this video, we will discuss three learning methods that actually work to improve fluency. So let's begin. Yes, before I start, my name is Rupam and I welcome you all to my channel. If you like this video, please do subscribe. So the first method is How does listening helps to improve our speaking? When you listen to an English conversation, the unconscious part of the brain is learning English behind the scene. Let me explain you with an example. Consider the preposition in and on, which can be used to tell when something happened. As for example, he was born in March. He was born in 1990. Now how to use the preposition on. He was born on March 20th. He was born on Monday. Initially, you will be confused where to use in and where to use on. I was born on 1990, which is not correct. I was born in 1990. So what can we do to correct this mistake? Well, if you listen to English conversation, you will come across all these things many times. And slowly, slowly, your mind will take it. Your mind will understand when to use on and when to use in. I was born in 1997. My parents moved to the US in 1995. I graduated college in 2008. So, after some exposure to this type of sentences, to this type of conversation, automatically you will be able to understand where to use in and on. And at some point of time, you will realize, I was born on 1990. The sense will come inside you and you will feel this is not correct. And I was born in 1990 will sound correct for you. You will be able to distinguish between the two, in and on. And the best part about this is what you know. It will be happening to you automatically. You will not be thinking. You will not think like where I will be using in, where I will be using on. No, it's automatic. But this automatic thing will not happen if you are reading in a book. In our school, we are taught where to use in, where to use on. We memorize. That takes time. That happens. But it takes a lot of time. We have to think a lot where to use in, where to use on. So, if you give more importance to listening to this type of conversation, you will be able to do it much faster. This is why you must listen to English as much as possible. The more you listen, the more you speak like a native. Now, you may think, where to find this type of English content? From where can I learn? Well, there are two great sources. One is YouTube videos. Number two is podcast. Both podcast and YouTube will have all these topics. Okay, 
you can find any type of conversation here no matter wherever you are interested in whatever things you want to listen you will find the same in youtube and post podcast now you may say what topic should i listen to well it's all up to you it's all up to you if you like sports listen to sports if you like comedy listen to comedy if you like spirituality go for that it's all up to you some examples of topics which you can listen are travel investing movie review health and fitness relationships pets gardening news beauty so with all this you will be able to develop your english speaking skill and your english fluency let's move on to number 2 If you want to develop your English fluency, listening alone will not help you. You need to open your mouth, you need to speak. That is a very important part. I'm sure you will agree to me, right? But what if you don't stay in Australia, America, English speaking nation where English is very common? You stay in such a place where you don't find English people around. Well, you have the options. There are six different ways by which you can practice English all by yourself. Imitate native speakers, memorize short speeches, practice with question and answer lessons, listen and express key ideas, talk about random topics, talk to people online. This is the exercise which you can do. all alone and it doesn't require any money you can do it free of cost now i will say stop making excuses excuses doesn't come when we start learning something excuses are reasons we tell ourselves to explain why something is not possible many people they start learning english but they leave immediately after a few days because they think they cannot improve their english skill here are some reasons you may think i don't have a speaking partner i don't live in a english speaking country i can't afford english classes i can't afford to hire a native speaker to talk with me online so stop making excuses If you stop making the excuses you will learn faster. Also there are many people who comes with different types of excuses. I don't think it will work for me. I need to practice with a partner. I am tired practicing alone. I feel so bad talking to myself all alone. How do I know if I am practicing correctly? Well I can understand. when you start practicing all alone it's not easy sometimes it is boring sometimes you feel what am i doing all alone but if you have a goal in your mind no one can stop you you will keep doing it every day all i want to say is that don't place limitation open up open yourself just try to learn wherever you can so let's move on to the third method now you will say how reading helps to improve our english fluency we can develop our english fluency only when we have a good vocabulary and how can we develop the vocabulary it is only through reading when we read we come across many new words and those words helps us to speak fluently and reading is an excellent way to do so suppose you read a novel you come across so many different types of conversation there will be dialogues with full of slangs full of idioms the kind of vocabulary which you will hear on a regular basis for example well petty 
said Uncle Werner, getting heavy on his foot. I'll be off to the station, then. Want to come along for the ride, doodlers? Other than novels, you can also read non-fiction books, blogs, news, or you can follow some interesting Facebook pages in English. Reading is very much important. It benefits a lot. If you have trouble understanding conversation in English, you should read. You should read regularly. By engaging in both listening and reading activities, you learn both the pronunciation and spelling of English vocabulary. This is a powerful way to improve your English comprehension. So my dear friends, these are the three methods. Try it out and let me know if it works for you. It is all about practice and patience. I wish you all the very best. See you again.